The recent police protests in Tulsa, Oklahoma have been energetic. They've spanned skin colors and nationalities. Young, old, black, white, Latinx, Native American, Asian. It's really been remarkable. It's truly what America looks like. Robert uh, Turner is a pastor in Tulsa where protesters' anger at police has been further fueled by a June 4th incident involving two teenagers accused of jaywalking, being forced to the ground by police, and these comments by a Tulsa officer during a radio interview. All of their research says we're shooting African Americans about 24 percent less than we probably ought to be based on the crimes being committed. It's the same racist police culture we have here in Tulsa uh, that is yet to be addressed or eradicated. Racism has a long history in this city. It exploded to the surface during the Tulsa Race Massacre of 1921. Black Wall Street refers to Greenwood Avenue right behind me. This was a thriving area of business and culture in the early 1900s. A self-contained black economy out of necessity because of the racism of that time. On May 31st, 1921, a white mob gathered at the jail where a black man accused of assaulting a white woman was being held. The story is is that a shot rang out. Then Julius Pegui says all hell broke loose. They were burning people's homes and burning buildings. Bullets flew. Up to 300 black Tulsans were killed. A large black neighborhood was virtually wiped out. They buried people in just open graves. And then silence descended. For years, the city refused to admit there'd been a massacre. Gradually, over time, the demands for an accounting of the destruction grew. Last fall, an archaeologist scanned a portion of the local cemetery and was struck by the disturbed soil that he saw. The size of it, the, how straight the sides of it, the, the walls of it were, and the depth of it is what makes us think that it may be a mass grave. The excavation of that potential grave, those organizing it say, would be a nod in part to those who survived those bloody days. Because I feel like in some ways I'm standing in their stead to be their voice in this day and time regarding what they didn't talk about. In February, Turner wondered out loud, who did this to these Americans? Answering that question, he believes, could help bind wounds that remain open in Tulsa today. In order to have healing, you need justice. And that's what the excavation should provide. That work may finally begin in July, at a time when the issue of racism is front and center here like never before. People are not letting up until they see change. Hendrick Sabrandi, CGTN, Tulsa.